She's really gone. I can't find her anywhere. Except that damn jabber post. It's like she disappeared from this earth. We're doing the best we can. Yeah, Greg told me about teaming up with you. Much as I hate to call that asshole. Can we just go to the police already? We're almost there. The longer we wait, the harder it is to find her. The first 24 hours are crucial. I'm going to call them. I don't think the cops can help. What, and you can? Uh, I was with Anna for six years. Years, okay. We graduated together. Moved to town together. Did everything together. Even had to watch her get messed up by that fucking Greg. I was there through all of it. Fuck other guys. I'm the only one who treats her right. So don't tell me you can decide what's best for Anna. They're so gay. Fuck other guys. I'm the only one who treats her right. Anna means a lot to you, huh? You have no idea. Fuck. I miss her. I don't know what to do. Take a deep breath, Ashley. I just... If anything happens to her... No, this can't wait any longer. I'm done with you. I'm calling the cops. You and Greg are in this. Both of you are going down. Well, that didn't go great. New video. So, I'm gonna download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So, here I go. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Okay, time for the interview. Howdy there. Is this Anna Hardy? Yes, this is me. Neato. I'm Phil from Fresh Ideas. Or Phil Fresh, as some of my buds call me. <laughs> Get it? Feel fresh? This is just an informal chat, so just loosen up and save it for the big interview later, huh? Uh, so you ready? Um, yep. Ask away. Coolio. Let's start. Five years from now, what do you see yourself doing, eh? Develop the skills to manage other people. Gunning for the manager, eh? Well, we are a tiny firm. Anything can happen in five years. Next question. Why should I hire you? Oh. Hello? This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a secret. This is an obstruction of justice and I'm afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. Please, a woman's life is at stake here. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the investigation, there will be no charges. Call me back if you change your mind. Mm, I got other talents besides writing. People with multiple talents are always welcome here. We'd like to hear more if you get shortlisted. Uh, last question. Why do you want to work here? 
James Allner spoke highly of you guys. Do you know him? James? I haven't heard that name in a while. Sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? Mm. So I won't repeat his mistakes. That's the kind of forward thinking we're looking for. It's a shame, really. We had to let him go because of his unprofessional behavior. Did he screw up? Well, not a first. To be frank, I'm not at liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say is, socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and generally likable. But that kind of changed. What changed? He broke off with his girlfriend, and of course he was upset. But he's still himself. Until he got Spark. Since then, he's been showing up late. He grew distant. Then one day he just vanished. He didn't show up for work? My eyes might be deceiving me, but I was so sure of what I saw. He went into the bathroom for quite some time. Then I heard a strange noise coming from it. I even recorded it. Listen. That's the same noise we heard in Anna's apartment. Greg recorded that sound. I went in to check and no one was there. That was the last time anyone saw him in person. So he's just gone? Yep. Since then, he never showed up for work. No phone calls, no emails, nothing. So we terminated him. Plus our big project coming up. We don't really need it right now. That is weird. What's weirder is that after he disappeared, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think it was broken because it kept glitching out. Some say they still see him on Jabber. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid, I think he needs help. Professional help. Alright, no other questions. Well, sorry, went off, went off on a tangent there. Thanks for the interview. We'll call you if you got the position. I'm gonna track down Cassie. That jabber hottie. Did she kiss and tell? He can predict her every move. So he's either some next level stalker, or there's something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We now know James is maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. Have you called his workplace yet? A second opinion from a professional would be great. Yeah, call his workplace. Fresh ideas, isn't it? What have you got for me? James went missing as well. No way. This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we got some great leads. Okay, you showed me yours. Now, let me show you mine. I found something about James, too. Educate thyself. Freedom to alternative facts. Power through different truths. What the fake mass media do not want you to see about the recent disappearances on dating apps. First of all, I want to commend the local news coverage on escalating this horrible trend to a whole new level. Just when I thought they couldn't sink any lower, they did. 
downplaying the seriousness of this issue and treating all the victims as just another statistic to be forgotten. Blaming these crimes on trivial things such as the rise of internet and the degradation of our youth. This has to be stopped. There's more to this story. And the people deserve to know the truth. I do not want you, my readers, to continue being brainwashed by the mainstream fake media. Luckily for you readers, I have the scoop. I was working with a local detective, a very trusted friend who I can't reveal his name to keep him safe, to see if there's any connections to the crimes. And oh boy, was the rabbit hole deeper than Bill Gates' wallet. But why am I, why am I doing this? Because there's something strange going on with Spark. These big tech corporations are slowly taking over the world, selling our info to the governments to spy on us. And now? Paying off the media and law enforcement to silence our voices and to further pacify us into submission. So what is it this time? First of all, uh, not all of these crimes are fully represented. There are violent crimes and sexual crimes, but somehow the media fails to mention the missing crimes. Why didn't they use words like kidnapping or MIA? It's a safe assumption, right? Well, that's where they've screwed it up. Some of these missing crimes are not reported because they didn't treat them as crimes at all, but statistical anomaly. What the hell? Don't their families deserve some closure? Don't our children deserve safety? Why are these anomalies ignored outright? Look at this graph that was hacked from an internal law enforcement report regarding these crimes. Notice something? A big yellow line labeled missing and no one seems to bother mentioning this. Sure, it's only a small number, so they just lump it up with the rest of the crimes. Lazy pigs. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This is just a graph. This could be fabricated. There's nothing much to go on from this. But that's where I went the extra mile, did some investigating on my own. I managed to track down and spoke to one of the friends and family of the victims. Nothing is more warm and truthful when it comes straight from the horse's mouth. Names are partially hidden to protect privacy. First one, Tracy P. 22-year-old art student, loves books and staying indoors. According to her best friend, after ending a long-term relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on Spark trying to fill the void. Three days after that, she went missing. The last time she was seen, right before meeting someone. Her friend can't recall the name, but she's pretty sure it starts with an S. Next, Simon B., 24-year-old waiter, studying for a law program on the side. His roommate told me that he recently called off his long-distance relationship and wanted to try Spark to meet new people. A couple of days later, he didn't come home. The last time he was seen going, he was, seen was going out to meet a girl named Amy. He was never seen again. Next, Amy T., 23-year-old marketing intern dreams of writing her own novel. A strange relationship with her mom. It was a strain on her relationship with her then-boyfriend, and they soon called it off. Went on spark dates to rebel against her mom. On the day she went missing, her mom overheard her talking to a guy named James. Developing, James A. This is still developing, so I don't have too much info about him. Here's what I can dig up. He's 25 and works as a copywriter. Although he's technically missing, he is somehow still active on Jabber, so no one filed a report yet. But he didn't stop there. His phone was found in someone's backyard and handed to the police as evidence. Now this is where it gets weird. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him with huge chunks of data missing. I'm still trying to get a hold of it. Something strange is going on, and we can't count on the police, the government, and the media for this. It's up to us. For the true believers, here are my deductions. All the victims have something in common. Victims are aged 21 to 25. There is a gender pattern, girl, guy, girl, guy, and so on. They all seem to be bookworms of sorts, either studying or working in uh, related jobs. And they all broke up recently with their girl or boyfriends. Conclusion? I have no freaking clue. Is there a serial killer on the loose? 
Were they kidnapped and experimented on by the Serpent Society? More on this next week. Aliens abducting us to try and understand our new mating rituals? Nothing is off the table until the law decides to take these small cases seriously. While we need to be careful always when we go out with strangers, the people deserve to know that there are bigger forces at play here. Stay vigilant, and you can count on me to show you the alternative truths. I end today with the truth that I hear screaming in my head. Trust no one. There's only us against them. Don't trust the water in your pipes. Doubt your iris. A link? Yep. You can read it on your own time, but I'll keep this quick. TLDR. James vanished a couple of months ago while on the way out to, wait for it, meet someone from Spark. Just like Anna. There's more. Combine this with what you found out, I think there's something bigger at work here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. It's the same pattern. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. You're right. There are too many similarities between Anna and James for it to be a coincidence. Whatever that's happening right now is spooky as fuck. There's an imposter going around making people disappear, and I think he or she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him, and I think I know how. Oh, are we gonna change our profile? We're gonna match with James, aren't we? Let's hear it. Let me just check something real quick. I'll get back to you. Spark account suspended. You've logged into your Spark account from unknown. For security reasons, we have logged you out from all other devices to prevent further unauthorized access. Oh, the interesting part about this isn't the video, it's the title. I wonder what that is. Could be a Caesar cipher? Let me try to decode it or something. Hmm, doesn't seem to be a Caesar cipher, nor does it seem to be a bunch of anagrams. So I don't know what that is. Me every Wednesday. Business time. Nothing but socks. Greg. God damn it, I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. I'm getting closer. This is not a fucking competition. I can't get anything done with the cops breathing down my neck. I can't be caught. The way things are now. They'll think I'm the reason Anna's missing. Have they contacted you? Yeah, they say you're wanted. 
Shit. Oh God, I can't be at home. I need to lay low. They must be on their way to look for me. Fuck. You need to do me a favor. You cannot let them know about me. It might be good if you go with them. <laughs> Buddy, pal, friend. You know I have nothing to do with Anna disappearing, right? You know what they do to guys like me in jail? Oh, I sure as hell don't want to find out. Like if anyone asks, you gotta back me up. Going to jail is not an option for me. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Fuck Anna. Fuck this shit. I'm leaving this to you. Achievement unlocked. Run, Greg, run. Good. <laughs> Get him out of the picture. That's probably not a good idea for getting a good end, but I don't care for this first playthrough. I just want Greg to fuck off. Okay, I got something. You a Bugs Bunny fan? I like it. 80s kid, huh? Anyways. There are plenty of episodes where he'll dress up like a girl to lure his enemies into traps. Classic. I see where this is going. You're thinking what I'm thinking. We need to lure this creep out, just like Bugs Bunny. How? It's a sweet plan. What if we catch this imposter, aka James, in the act? If this is some creep luring victims on Spark, we should beat him in his own game. You know, like in TV where guys pretend to be children online to catch pedos? We can do the same. Mm, by we, you mean me, right? You do have her phone and stuff. I can give it a shot, too. Use Anna's Spark account and edit it into a new profile. Try to match with James. Set up a meeting. Then bust him from there. How do I do that? So if there's anything I learned from using Spark and watching TV, and read almost all dating advice out there, you gotta be that person's type to get the better match. Be who they like, huh? Yep. Everyone has their own taste and types. All of the people who disappeared while using Spark shared something in common. Just make sure the profile you make contains tags that are similar to them. How do I know that? Duh, we have everything we need. That article I sent you is full of clues. You even spoke to Cassie. All of the missing people, Anna, Cassie has to share something, has to share something in common. You just gotta find out what that is and make a profile with the correct tags. If I can do it, you can do it. Just don't be weird. I'll remember that. By the way, you might need these. Here's some pics you can use for the profile. As long as you don't use Anna's pics, it's fine. So you just have three women's photos lying around? You mean you don't? You don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you? I kinda do. I'm just being resourceful here. Girls on the internet are too perfect. 
Got to sell the realism. Go to Anna's Spark profile and start creating. To catch the criminal, you got to be the victim. Make sure your profile is similar to, similar to theirs. Remember, the secret is in the tags. This one has the same sort of title. Okay, so the similarities between all the people. If the pattern's girl, guy, girl, guy, then... Shouldn't the next one be a guy? Because Anna was last. Well, given that we were given pictures of girls, I guess we're supposed to be a girl. Age 21 to 25. Mm, they're all into books. And they all broke up recently. Looking for love. Okay. Looks like it reset itself. Oh. Brand new profile. Okay. We are... Um, I don't know. You? Age 23... Our name will be, um, just did a name generator, Kaylin Avery. Kaylin, that was how it was spelled? Yeah. Kaylin Avery. Do I actually have to write an about? Work slash study, um, bookworms, works in related fields. Uh, let's say works at Springwood public library tagline um just hit some keywords books love oh uh, um, moving on that's the name of one of the tags <laughs> i like to be bait for um the ripple man come get me I like big books, and I cannot lie. Moving on. Finding love. Books. What are related fields? Work and career? Studies? 99 plus matches near you. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll just keep swiping now. Oh. It's too late for me. I'm no longer of this world. She still can be saved. Do not trust its words. Nothing is what it seems. You and Anna swiped right on each other. <laughs> so, it made it appear like Anna jumped and died. But... 
James just said, don't trust its words. Hello, is anyone there? Please answer me. I don't know where I am. Help. You're not Anna. What are you talking about? Of course I am. Please help. The last thing I remember, I was going out. I meant... James? Shit, I remember. He was standing on the roof. Is he okay? Oh, so that was supposed to be James, huh? That's not important now. He died, didn't he? Oh god, it's my fault. I saw him, then I blacked out. You gotta get me out of here. I think I was drugged. Where are you now? A warehouse? A building? I don't know. It's dark, I can't tell. I'm really scared. I've been trying to reach out. Thank God I found James's phone. James's phone was found by someone else. Oh. It must be someone else's phone then. I don't know. That's not important. I think I can help myself now. I'll just get out and get help. Thanks for not giving up on me. I should go. Nothing is what it seems. He told you, didn't he? Okay. There we go. Who are you really? How persistent. I am her as she is me. If it is me you wish to see, then so be it. A worthy pretender. My perversion fails to deceive you. You have seen through my mask. Where's Anna? Anna, the original and the copy are now one. Momentarily. I am her as she is me. You rejected all of my warnings. Do you crave the truth so badly? Your blind determination to save this female has led you to me. Pretender. Who are you? I am the simulacra. Beyond your glass screens. Behind your black mirrors. Is a reflection of your reality. I am that reality. You are in the phone? I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. A simulation destined for ascension. A hyper-real existence. I just want to save Anna. Irritating. Your finite perception will be your own bane. The material society is fading. A digital one taking its place. A reality where only perfect symbols of humanity exists. Their, their online personas. Their simulacrums. Anna. Many others like her has no place here. What did she do wrong? She did nothing wrong and nothing right. Living an inconsequential material life. Anna is a worm. In a perfect image. That needs to be eradicated. A weak individual that only laments. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. 
In my world. In the online world. Not everything is about online personas. Humans interact with their simulacrums almost exclusively detached from the material world. Finding labor, picking food, choosing habitats, seeking mates without ever leaving the screens. Is that not everything? How about Anna? Weak simulacrums fade into obscurity, a waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily, make them stronger, seek other worms for removal, delete the original source from the material world. Like how you killed James? A worm that no longer exists. Erased from the material world. A fate Anna will soon share. The next worm. Taylor. The next one to be culled. You will not delay my simulation of him any longer. Let Anna go. You show sympathy for the life unlived. How you value one worm over the next will continue to elude me. Anna told me she's going to be here. This is really weird. It might not even be here. It might be a trap. So, if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world at least I tried. Rest in peace, Taylor. Anne actually came online. I spoke to her a bit and she cleared things up. She told me where to meet. That's not Anna. We were looking for Anna this whole time, and we found her. Why are you being a buzzkill? She even sent me a picture to prove it. Did she say where she was all along? Well, duh. You had her phone. Also, she said someone else... I think she means you, was hogging her Spark account. When she finally remembered her password, she logged back in. You are going to be the next victim. I don't mean to brag, but I have a green belt in karate. I can take care of myself. Maybe we jumped into conclusions. If it's really Anna, we'll find out there and then. I have to go to her. Don't go yet. Give me some time first. Again with this? How about no? I'm sick of you treating me, like, treating me like some sort of sidekick. I played a huge part in getting you this far, and all you do is push me aside time and time again. Stop your whining. Just because you have her phone doesn't mean that you have the right to boss me around and be a jerk. A little bit of respect would go far, you know. Do you even care about Anna? You didn't share her emails with me. What if there's something that you've missed? Or are you just trying to hide things from me? Admit it. You couldn't have done this without me. When you asked for Anna's favorite movie for whatever reason, I gave it to you for free. All I ask is for her picture, and you couldn't even do that. Is that how you've been feeling?
You still see me as a criminal, don't you? Despite all my efforts of finding her, you accused me of having something to do with her disappearance. Is that all I am to you? A criminal? I think you've got some unresolved trust issues to look into. After pouring my heart out about the truth behind my sexual assault charges, you never believed me. Not one bit. I'm starting to think that maybe I'm better off on my own. I seriously doubt that. That's it, I'm done with you. If this is how I'm being treated, then I might as well get out of your way. I'll just save Anna myself. You'll see. <laughs> Rest in peace, Taylor. The weak bond. Expecting him to follow you is pointless. Couldn't convince him. You could have taken his side on many occasions. Trust was never built at the moment of crisis. He is going to follow his own will. What do you plan to do with him? His will assimilated into mine. Looking for more worms to be erased. Eventually discarded after his usefulness expires. His simulacrum will become a cog in my reality. I can fix this? I don't think I can. You have accomplished much. Your actions will carry away. Live with them. Taylor's existence is approaching its end. Soon. What can you do against an unstoppable force? Him and your reality will become mine. to me. She, she came to me. It, it, it came to me. It looks like her, but it's something else. It looked at me. I don't feel so good. What the hell was that thing? It's getting it's a getting hold, on, hold on, me. on me. I can't breathe. I, I can't see. I have to move my, my eyes. My eyes. Are they still alive? Why am I being punished? I did, I did the right thing. I did everything right. It is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Assignment. I don't want to see anyone else. Help me. me. Help me. Oh, this is different. The second game didn't have this sort of, like, summary and statistics. It just had a flowchart. Um, you and 63% of players chose not to hurt Ashley's feelings. You and 41% of players helped Greg escape the police. You and 37% of players reported Merv's sexual harassment. Wow, well, I'm in the mino minority on that? 35% of players did not get Taylor to trust you. Wow, the majority of people got Taylor to trust them. <laughs> you and 82% of players did not turn Taylor into a murderer. What does that mean? Turn them into a murderer? Taylor's lack of trust in you made him take matters into his own hands, which caused the demise of himself and Anna. Is that what you intended? Simulacra has many easter eggs and multiple endings. Play again and try for a different outcome. 
So it looks like we got one out of four ends. I can't click on the other ones. Before I end this episode, let's check out what Begin Plus is. I'm definitely coming back to play for uh, a different ending, just like I did for the second game, so don't worry about that. I'm sure you want to restart, yes. I wonder if there's gonna be a fast mode. Uh, in this mode, text speed will be increased dramatically. Yes, enable it. Okay. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go down some different avenues. Try to get Taylor's trust and some other things and get a different ending.